Hello and welcome to tonight's watch party for the Jazz Second Century series. My name is Raina Mathis and I am the editor of the Earshot Jazz Magazine as well as an artist and educator. Jazz the Second Century is based on this fundamental question a hundred years into this art form when we have new technologies available and different cultural influences all around us. What sonic shape does jazz take in its second century? The Second Century series has, like all of us, evolved over the last couple years. What was once an in-person summer series held at the chapel is now a virtual concert folded into the Fall Earshot Jazz Festival. We look towards the future of the series and us as a society, what hope, discoveries, and creation lay ahead of us. Tonight we will see performances from The Smiley Experience, Fuzzy Pink Bears, Ramen Trio, Heather Dio Duo, and customer. First up, we have Jamar Smiley of the Smiley Experience. Jamar, also known as the voice of the Northwest, is a Seattle-based poet and educator. His work captures the essence of proud Black men and women, youth and adults alike, by diving deep into the people, history, upbringing, communities, ancestors, and the culture itself. After, we'll see the sonic experiment of two rhythm-obsessed individuals Fuzzy Pink Bears. Dio Jean Baptiste on drums and Leanna Keith on flutes come together to improvise in long form sets. Following them, Ramen Trio will be presenting Ramen Trio the movie, an engaging, mind bending experience that is sure to take the viewers on a trippy journey. The band Doug Leela, bass guitar, Jay Weaver, drums, and James DeJoy, clarinet and bass clarinet combines form and freedom through composition, improvisation, jazz, and contemporary classical styles while adding splashes of folk and rock resulting in an open-ended dance of ideas. Heather Dio duo follows them. This duo is a years-long partnership between Heather Bentley, violist, and Dio Jean Baptiste, drummer. HDD explores texture, rhythm, intensity, architecture, pacing, melody, and harmony through a lens best described as a four-way into the passage of time. And finally, Customer will close out tonight's performances. Customer is an evolving free improvisational collaboration, sonically grasping at this moment. Rejecting borrowed nostalgia and cynical revivalism, Customer confronts a future denied through the futile attempt at capturing the affirmational now. Customer is Tom Scully on guitar and Casey Adams drums. We hope you enjoyed tonight's performances and hope to see you all through the rest of the festival. It's been a wild ride to get here, but we wouldn't be here without all of you. So for myself and the rest of the Earshot team, thank you, thank you. Now, without further ado, I'm delighted to present Jazz, the Second Century. The rivers twist and turn as distance burns a place within the banks. And the many greens that grow within and life that pass from fish to fin now move through channels thick and thin till only few are known and hold a face within the ranks. And now the face of rivers burn, move through the phases of live and learn, and life that pass will miss a turn. And fishes skip the history with fire, water, sift as tea, and life we know will pass and flow as water down as tonic. At times, the many greens that grow would filter life to clean the soul. The river streams would teem and glow to show the sky a scene of wonder. Clouds apart remain asunder. Once equipped, we come legit, but now the distance burns in numbers. And anything that lives in thunder once was supersonic. The city was our river. And it carried all the hopes and dreams that one desires. And each domain that filled with life and every pulse that moved the sky was snatched up out the river, and now the bank remains in fire. The city was our river, and it swam from west to south. But as the gentra fire spreads, we watch and stand powerless as the pressure is applied through time. We are Chinook. We flow in droves and leagues and swarms to mold the cast of social norms from anything we think, believe, and breathe into existence. We are Chinook. From ancestral plains before my birth, we give life to everything we touch. 
There would be no river without us because pain and war and segregation fueled the flames that light my spirit. And like a beacon from the night, we dance and praise and sing to lobster, shrimp, and crab across the world and nation hear it. And fish will come from leagues away in droves and swarms to show out. And once we get together, we shine as bright as the sun. And from light comes life until the scavengers come. With all the hidden agendas and passive aggression, as they starve at the basin, asking for lessons, and they haven't eaten in days until we feed them. And they love what we've done with the place, how we look, how we eat, how we act, and they want to learn more from our ways. So we believe them. And we just keeping it old school and feeding them soul food, acting in goodwill, so we give them clothes too. But as they're digging for the soul, we still giving them some more, taking everything they can to give it back to their own kind. The scavengers will never last. They survive off appropriation. And to them, we're just a cultural gold mine. Now the river is in flames, but the fish ain't escaping. And we stuck at the bottom, spread out through the basin. So we climb through the ranks and we crawl to the banks and we watch as the river goes through rearrangement we are. Chinook. We go hand in hand with live and learn to watch the faceless river burns. And when the river falls, we are the first to pay the homage. But as the river twists and turns, we live inside the mystery and all will know the history within the river's faces face the fate of the Duwamish. The city was our river and it flowed with grace through many seasons of the rain, carrying the hopes of Sir mix a and Jimi Hendrix, mixed with Ezel's bones and the smooth tones of Quincy Jones as it roams from the South End to the Central District. And it twists and turns and it braids and locks as Black Panthers parade the blocks for Langston, Dixon, Mega Evers, read the facts to get the weather or watch as we flow into pieces blended through the sound. Listen close. And you can hear the river cry. The broken heart of generations bleeds into every gas station and street corner, every high rise and subsidized house and building where each family has five to six mouths of children, every token black kid in a private school that is scared of embracing their pride and rule. Every bus that you take is a major pain as it rolls through the hood because it ain't the same. All the places you go when the party was over got turned into CrossFit, Pilates, and yoga. All the summers we spent hooping three on three, cut short by the hours at PCC. All these people locked up and they stuck for life for the same bags they're selling to Uncle Ike's. And the next block over, they ask you, what should we do about the place where Red Apple was? But what about all the salmon that swam through the dam in the distance while dipping and dodging the planet? turning through currents and moving through wires while twisting and turning and burning desires inspired by legions of doom of the century. Empathy enters the river as mystery, mixing with Mr. Miyagi and Oteriyaki and Saki and Pockets of Holly Street, honestly. Honestly, we let the fire defeat us by helping the ember grow into a fetus to feed us the flames of rivers and banks that crumble with pressure and time. And if we continue to fuel this flame and not stand together to build on our trust, then all our pain and tears through all these years will be packaged and sold at Starbucks. Breathe. 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 In through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe. Fill up the stomach, then the lungs. Next, the brain, and last, the mind. And let the air flow from the roof of your mouth. Breathe.
Feel the life surge into your body. Let it control you. Let it flow through every cavity of your brain, oozing into the deepest, darkest corners of your mind. Let it consume every cell of your blood until your body becomes one with the air. You are now the wind. You are now nature. You are now the ocean, the skies and the trees. We are now connected. Can you feel the beauty? Can you feel the peace and the love as you start to wonder? Why do we breathe? Can you feel it? The ripple of the wind, a wrinkle in time, very fickle, but it bends. Bends my reality, brings my existence to knees as my senses grow distant and split through the trees. The first two were captured, the third one was mastered, the fourth and the fifth one would die shortly after. The sixth of my senses were sown into senseless commitments of witches and misfits and thieves. Breathe. Where am I? The sky is filled with smoke. My stomach burns, my lungs a furnace for the fire in my throat. So where am I? What happened to the peace? I breathe in creation, but this land is deceased. I've handed the keys of life to the keeper of grim and dim seasons for reasons that recently been the wind's pretense prevented the evil and sin. Seeing these men as senses and equal as kin, kin shift throughout the world as frequent as wind, but the wind doesn't touch these sails. They float by in the breeze. Wait, why can't I breathe? I stand face to face with reality, realizing that he's been with me all along. I tell him my condolences to your mother. He tells me that the truth is alive and well, but she can only be seen by those who look. And she can only show those who will see, sadly, you will never find her inside of a dream. The darkness in his eyes sent a wave of chills down my spine as I asked him, what's up? The infant mortality rate among your people, that's what's up. The number of single parents in government homes in your community, that's what's up. What's up is the number of black people dying from curable diseases. The number of your people risking everything to be falsely educated. The amount of money spent outside of the community. The amount of other people that profit off of your culture. The number of black children dying from black children, white children, Asian children, Hispanic children, white men, white women, white supremacy, Western civilization, the parasitic elite, big pharma, big tobacco, standardized testing, Eurocentric brainwashing, gentrification, sexual confusion and identification, integration, mental manipulation, spiritual degradation, monopolization, your car note, your electric bill, your phone bill, your cable bill, your Wi-Fi, your groceries, the water you drink, your rent, the cost of your living, the cost of your organs, the cost of the melanin, the profit margin of the prison industrial complex over the past 10 years, there's a whole lot that's up, but you, you are not it. You stand by on the wayside, chasing a renewable resource, hoping that it will create and fuel your dreams, forgetting that only thoughts can create and only the mind can dream. And the fuel is a tank full of imagination. And as you circle the path to success, your brain, the vehicle that'll take you down this road, begins to rust and fade away because you will fade away. And all that will be left is your people, your community, your legacy. And your people are lost. And then reality swings and the force brings me to my knees. Your community is divided as I become blind, deaf and dumb and numb to his presence for my senses have left me. You have failed and now the air is partly smoke and I can't breathe but I don't care, I start to choke. Still no air but in the corner of my mind I see the mother of reality. I tell her, I can't breathe. I'm yelling, I can't breathe. I'm screaming, I can't. Thank you. 
breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe. Fill up the stomach, then the lungs. Next, the brain, and last, the mind. And let the air flow from the roof of your mouth. Breathe. The moment between in and out, up and down, inhale and exhale, that is where I breathe. I am the truth. This short-term bliss, this peace of nirvana, is the sense of destruction within the community. It's the spirit of hate you have between one another, the birth of the lack of belief within yourself. And for you to be happiness, for you to reach every corner of the world, for you to be a pillar of creation and give birth to a nation, the only thing you need is breathe. And hold it, hold it tight and let your stomach and lungs contract as they try and save every last ounce of breath. Let your brain fire signals rapidly to the heart of panic and fear as your senses run wild and untamed. Let your mind cloud with thoughts of anger and hate and death. And when you think you can't go on no more, hold on, just hold on, but don't you dare take that breath. So we hold on. We hold on when baskets break our backs as we make our way up and down fields. Who knew cotton could be so heavy? We hold on to the drums and the stars that guide us through this land even when some of us might not be ready. We hold on when white hoods and white sheets creep through the night, setting fire to every crop and town that we own. We hold on to the food and the language and the books they give that destroy and degrade our homes. We hold on when little boys and little girls get blown up in the church or beaten, stabbed, and hung and drowned. We hold on when nothing has really changed for 500 years and all we're trying to do is make a sound. We've been holding on for generations. They've been trying to take my breath for 500 years because they know that once I breathe, it'll take the combined forces of the world to try and stop me only to fall short of victory, a global suicide mission. And I've been nice. I've smiled and sung and danced. I've laughed and hugged and yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, but I am done. I'm done explaining why you better not call me a nigger. I don't care how many black friends you got. I'm done being politically correct because politics ain't come correct to me anyway. I'm done using my inside voice because in the pyramids, my voice echoes from chamber to chamber. I'm done being broke. I'm done being a thug or an athlete or a rapper. There isn't a stereo loud enough to tell you what type I am. I'm done living in fear. I'm done living a lie. I stand facing the truth. I won't run. I won't hide. I'm done playing this game and I won't hold on anymore. So if you are done being a slave to your weakness, chained up in greed, locked in a culture that aims to be free, if you were done playing victim and ready to be, if you were done building somebody else's dream, then no more code switching, no more tap dancing, no more passive excuses when you really just want to say step off, no more holding it in because there's greatness inside and the world needs to see it. It needs to breathe. It needs to live. So if you're ready to change, if you're ready to stand, if you were done holding on, then breathe. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe. Fill up the stomach, then the lungs, next the brain, and last the mind. And let the air flow from the roof of your mouth. Breathe. Wake up from the dream called society. Shower your body with love. Brush the negativity from your tongue. 
scrub and rinse the oppression like dandruff from your scalp. Dry off all the haters. Moisturize the community. Address all your strengths and style them as needed. Buckle up your desires so they won't sag or hold you down. Arm your brain with knowledge. Load your mind with positivity. Open up the door to the world and reclaim your freedom. Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you.